Good morning, Anne Murphy here from Domesticity. How are you today? Just popping in live from my kitchen. I'm going to be um, doing some live um, organising to help you get motivated and help you um, stay organised. So um, stay with me and I hope um, this helps you have a more organised life. So first of all, if you don't know me, I'm Anne Murphy from Domesticity and I help people create a place to call home and home stands for homemaking organizing making do education and even though i was a very very organized person before i had my children i had to learn how to prioritize learn what um what things were most important to me and when the children were young they were the most important thing to me i had to let the house things in the house slide because i was so stressed all the time about having things a particular way and um, my mental health was suffering, my physical health was suffering. So um, as the children have got older, I've uh, been able to set up some uh, more organising solutions and keep on top of them better. So it, it does happen and it can happen when um, the children get older. But I think one of the uh, biggest things is um, with organising is how to get started. Like for those who might be suffering from uh, having too much clutter and too much stuff in your house, um, just know that there is a solution and you can get through it, even though it might be a little bit emotional and a little bit um, uncomfortable, especially parting with sentimental items, but it can be done. And I've spoken about that many times in the group before, but today it's just all about um, organising and trying to fit uh, organising into your everyday life. So the biggest point that I want to... Um, tell you about today is that it's not a no matter how many times you could watch Marie Kondo or Peter um, Peter the other organizing guru any organizing gurus any of those DIY shows who go in there and declutter someone's home forget it um, we don't have the luxury of having a crew of 20 people taking everything out redecorating the room and um, putting everything into place like they do on the TV. So you need to be able to incorporate these um, organizing tasks into your everyday routine and you need to break them down into chunks. So you need to be able to, um, you know, especially if you're starting again, starting to get organized, you need to just break them down into small achievable chunks. And then from there on, it's an ongoing chore. You have to realize that keeping organized and staying organized is just like sweeping the floor washing the dishes and as long as you've got places for everything and like items are stored with like items you'll um you'll stay on top of it and that's what i want to show with you today i'm in the kitchen because that's a real hot spot for me because i love to cook and i love to um, bake and i spend a lot of time in here but i don't um, I'm not a um, slave to the kitchen and even though prior to having children there wouldn't be a thing out of place I have it set up so that uh, everything does have a place so whether it's just a little bit um, messed up or whatever you know I know that I can do I can break these chores into uh, smaller chunks and do them when I can and usually I do them when I'm cooking dinner and sometimes if it's so overwhelming that I think, oh, I need to, um, I need to rearrange the top of the plastic straw. I need to rearrange the fridge. I need to clean the fridge. I just usually write it on a um, a notebook, but I have one of these um, handy little whiteboard, um, little magnetic whiteboards, and I think my husband picked it up for two dollars from the supermarket. It might have been Woolworths. They had them on sale and it's got a little spot for the <clears throat> whiteboard pen but they're really great if my son's cooking a recipe you know i'll write it out for him on that or if we have to remember something to take to school we write it on that but i also like to um instead of dwelling on all these organizing tasks that i've got to do I, my life's unbearable I, I can't find anything in my tupperware drawer you know i need to do that I'll just write it down and then it's gone out of my mind and then when I get to it I'll get to it so just to show you what I'm talking about I'm going to move the camera 
hopefully I'll be able to get it set up um, properly again but I'll just flip it around and show you what I mean so um, this is my uh, plastic straw and as you can see like when you're wiping up and packing away um, you know once it's organized I normally do try to keep all of the same size containers in together but then when you're in a hurry and you're trying to um, trying to just get it all done and uh, move on to the next thing it tends to um, get a little bit out of hand but that's okay with me I'm fine with that because I know that this is where all my plastics are kept so I'll always be able to find all of my plastics in this drawer so that's the plastics cupboard these are all my baking pans so I know that um, all my baking pans are in here sometimes they get a little bit um, messed up and hard to get put put um, back in there and I do have a couple that I used on the weekend um, still sitting up there because I just didn't put them in here but I know that that's my spot for baking pans and uh, this cupboard is where I store all my baking supplies like measuring cups and mixing bowls and things like that now in my previous life this would have driven me crazy having all of my uh, measuring cups loose like that measuring spoons but that's where they are that's that's the measuring cup basket and that's fine with me you know um, electrical appliances are up there I just know that they go up in there and up the top is uh, bread maker and a few other different things so that's um, that's basically that you need to create homes for the things in your house and even while I'm t while I continue talking to you I'm just going to um, show you I um, just the other night I've got utensils all around the place like the ones that I use um, are right all the time are right next to the stove but there's all that, those other ones um, that I don't use. I put dinner on and within five minutes I'd organised the, um, the cutlery, uh, the utensil drawer. <clears throat> I meant to get some water before I started. Just one sec. So I'm just going to show you while I continue talking to you. My normal um, utensil drawer is, um, you know, if the drawer's not shut properly, it gets lots of crumbs in it and um, <coughs> things get muddled up. I can't, um, I'll show you. It just, all it needs is a quick wipe out. So they're the sorts of things that you can do while you're um, cooking dinner. You don't have to be um, on top of it uh, every single day, um, like cleaning it. If you can, that's great. But you know, don't feel um, obliged to think that it has to be perfect. So there's lots of little crumbs and things in there. Just a quick uh, wipe out with a, a wet cloth. So um, what else I wanted to talk um, to you about is how important it is to have that morning routine because um, when you, like what I do, I make the bed, uh, clean the vanity and make sure that I've got the uh, kitchen countertop clean. It just sets me for the day, it clears my mind. I know that I can go about my day to... Um, to do other chores or work in my business or catch up with friends give that a wipe with the tea towel I um, can do some of these extra little chores that I've got written on my list and I set myself a goal I I find that's really useful for me as well in the group how we have our, our weekly goal setting um, to do on a Monday where you pick those three to five little jobs that have just been niggling away at you um, just so you get them done and out the way I'll do something like that so instead of being overwhelmed with 
all these organizing tasks you know you've got your um you've got your craft room to organize you've got your tupperware cupboard to organize uh, all these things don't um don't feel overwhelmed by it all just write them on a, a list get them out of your head and then when you've got the time or as part of your daily routine um you do them there now how long did that take me five minutes and it's clean so um they're just little things that you can do i've got another big job over here that i want to um talk to you about as well um that i've set up i'd probably think there was something wrong with me if i did live like this not that there's anything wrong with me but i'd i'd think that i'd um i needed um some help but um Another thing to do when you've got this list of things to do is to um, give yourself or set yourself a reward. Say, say to yourself, I really want to organise that Tupperware, that plastic straw. Um, I don't want to do it. Uh, it's going to take me away from sitting here doing nothing and take me out of my comfort zone. But if you set yourself a reward, get that hardest, most uncomfortable job out of the way, then you can say, well, if I do this Tupperware plastic straw, I'm going to um, sit down for an hour and watch my um, favourite TV program and have a cup of coffee and um, a cookie, or I'm going to go and have a read a book for an hour. So always try to get those uh, uncomfortable, uh, awkward feelings out of the way and then reward yourself instead of thinking oh, I just want to sit here a little bit longer and scroll through Facebook just get up go and do it you can see how quickly I just did my cutlery draw then you don't have to have um, have it all perfect have these spots for everything so I'm going to take you over now to a disaster area I'll just um, turn the camera around and show you what I mean and it can happen to all of us and it has happened to me many times. Um, the children come home from school. Um, there's, this is the dining table. There's lots of uh, books and papers and um, toys. And I did this. Um, I left this out on purpose. Um, that's just a little bit of the laundry that I haven't folded from the weekend, just so that I could keep it out for the exercise. But you know, all sorts of things get on the dining table. And you think, oh, I can't be bothered tidying up for dinner tonight. We'll all have to sit in front of the TV to watch um, dinner tonight. So um, I'm just going to turn the camera around again. Hopefully this will work. Just setting the camera up, sorry. So when you see something like this, you know, you're completely overwhelmed. You know, you think, where do I start? Where, you know, there's things from every single part of the house here on the table. Where do I start? So you just start where you are, okay? Start from, if it's a room, if you go, like my daughter's room is always um, a nightmare. You just start at the doorway pick up that first thing so this is a um, waterproof raincoat that goes in their little um, storage I've got two little baskets where they drop their bags I'll um, just pop that in there now it's right within arm's reach if I didn't have it within arm's reach I just create a pile there's lots of certificates I'll keep the certificates um, bits of receipts and homework books that they don't need anymore. Um, they say um, plastic file, a document holder that can be reused for um, another school project. So I'm just starting a pile here for um, rubbish, school photos. Like for goodness sake, now how how the heck did they get there? Just rubbish 
old exam results, an Allen key with an instruction manual. So that will go in my file. Coat hangers, they'll go um, down by the clothesline. So I'll just create another pile. And I'll just keep working through that. There's an old um, diary from last year. She don't, doesn't want that. Some personal work. I'll put that in her. Uh, it's an empty uh, exercise book that hasn't been used. So as you can see, it's just taking me no time at all just to where I started, just to go through um, things. They don't have the umbrella anymore, so that's rubbish. Um, a recipe book from Home X, you won't need that. Calculator, just goes back into the stationary cupboard, an old recorder cover. Uh, just all old drawings and scrap bits of paper. Uh, there's her yearbook, that can go up in her personal things. Hangers. Yeah, I've got a, a office desk here in the kitchen, living room, dining room area, and that's where I keep backup uh, stationery. So that's where I'm going to keep um, these books that haven't been used and that uh, folder. It's another plastic raincoat. That's my son's. I'll put that in his basket. Just exam results, a reward chart. From when they were young I don't know what to do with that that doesn't work anymore with teenagers but um, is it going to uh, be useful for anything no it can just go in the rubbish and my son's uh, library book which needs to be returned and I've got a, a reusable bag here on the hook where all the library books go so we know so I'll just keep going as you can see it's just all um, starting to take um, shape it's all starting to be organized it's not taking me any time at all the laundry is not taking me long to fold I'll just keep going with that so um, I've talked about setting yourself a goal with a reward you um, pick one thing off your list to do uh, Set yourself a timer. You can set the timer on your phone, whether it's 15 minutes, 30 minutes. And then when, you, when you're done, you say, well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, um, I'm going to do that reward. I'm going to either sit here on Facebook and uh, uh, scroll through it for a while, or I'm going to go and have a coffee. I'm going to go and have a browse around the shops. But I'm going to get this job done no matter what. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to take me out of my comfort zone. Tell yourself it's not going to take you long. You're only setting yourself 15 minutes. I'm trying to set myself a, a limit to not be on this um, Facebook Live for 30 minutes because I don't any longer than 30 minutes because I don't want to take up your time. Um, folding the washing off the line is one of my biggest priorities um, after I've done the laundry because I want to um, make sure that all the clothes are packed away and in their right places for the week so we're not scrounging around in um, clothes baskets like my son had to this morning for his school shorts because I had them in here ready for this demonstration um, I mentioned before about creating that daily routine. Think of those jobs that are, uh, make you feel uncomfortable or you just wish that you could get them done and out the way as quickly as possible. <coughs> For me, it was making the bed, cleaning the vanity in the morning after everyone had brushed their teeth and um, clearing the kitchen countertop. Um, for the morning because that way I can bake if I want to I can get dinner organized it just makes me feel better so that's the washing folder now that's um, this is my son's basket for his room so I'll just put all that back in um, order it's my 
husband's things, a couple of things of mine, and then I'll just put them there, ready to go upstairs back to his room. Just some more things. There's a um, headphone set which can go in the stationery. Receipts. Old books. A magnet of some kind, magnet board. Just all old, um, old drawings and things. They're not so fussed on keeping old drawings like they used to be. So there's a pile of rubbish, paper rubbish that can go in the recycle bin. That's the um, little placemat that I have in the middle of the dinner table with some paper napkins that I normally have. This is a toy car that my son made over the last school holiday so that can go in the basket. These books just need to go uh, back on the bookcase which is just over there. I'll just sort them out into a size. There's a, a thesaurus. They can go back with um, go in the stationery. Some colouring books. A dictionary can go in the stationery. Uh, some old magazines and recipe books that I was given and I'm not going to use. So they can go in a donation pile. Actually I'll grab a bag. another shopping bag and just put them in there so that's done and out the way next time I go to the car I'll just drop them off at the donation shop pack these uh, books away in the bookcase And all this paper into my paper recycle bin. All the stationery in the stationery um, in this office desk. The pens. Next time I go downstairs, I'll take the um, coat hangers. And then when I go to my daughter's room, I'll just put some of these um, commemorative things in her drawer. I'll put that in the basket as well when I go upstairs. And this uh, instruction book will go in. Um, I'll put that in the pile to take downstairs as well. So there you go. Nice clean um, dining table. And I'm done. Just trying to set up the camera so you can see me. Hi, Barb. How are you? Sorry, I didn't see you pop in um, before. I'm just, I need a better tripod or something because it's really hard to. Let's see. So there you are. How long was that? It didn't take long at all. And you just have to start somewhere. You just have to sort it into piles, what you're going to throw away, what you're going to keep. Sort it by rooms, sort it by upstairs, downstairs. Um, sort, you know, have these areas where everything belongs, everything needs a home. Um, and realise that these jobs don't take a long time. What I um, want to stress is I know that clutter and organising can be overwhelming, but I want you to be overwhelmed with other things in your life. I want you to be overwhelmed with um, with a newfound positivity in your life. Instead of thinking, I've got so much clutter in my home, I wish I was more organised. Be more positive about your life and show gratitude. So, I love my home. I love, uh, I'm so overwhelmed with this new lease on life and this new frame of mind and this new positivity that I've got. Um, I'm going to um, try hard to incorporate one little um, decluttering, organising job every day and I'm so excited about um, this new way of living for me. 
you're overwhelmed with new ideas you know you you're starting to get really um, excited about organizing you're starting to think well this is so much easier now that I've got these hot spots created for different things in my home a place for all my medicines a place for all my shoes a place for all my plastic wear, my baking pans whatever it is I'm really excited now and overwhelmed with so many ideas on how to um, set this up in my home so it makes my life easier I'm overwhelmed with new ideas on on what I'm going to do with my spare time I'm going to take up that old sport that I used to do I'm going to do that craft that I've been putting off for so long I'm so overwhelmed with with passion and excitement for all these wonderful things that I'm going to do from now on I'm overwhelmed with this passion for life that I've got you know you don't want to be a slave to your home look how quickly that took me I don't want to be organizing all the time now perhaps before the children um, came and I lived like before I moved in with my ex-husband and I lived on my own I went to work I caught up with friends on the weekend it was probably easy for me just to keep it so pristine and so um, keep on top of it all the time but not now you know I've got my family I've got a, a wonderful husband I've got a wonderful life and a, um, a thriving business that I want to do and I, I really love what I do I, I'm passionate about my business and domesticity and and what we what we do here Shay and I and I'm just looking so forward to being able to help um, help you try and create this same passion for life that I've had um, that I've got now um, you can have it too you know just start continue with showing gratitude be grateful for things because that you know like I've mentioned before it just naturally as a natural way to increase the um, positive neurons in your brain and you'll want to do this sort of stuff you'll want to um, stay on top of things so I really hope that um, you've liked today's presentation um, don't forget in the um, on the domesticity website I've got a few um, organizing product solutions just little drawer inserts or um, inserts for your underwear or uh, if you want to put your winter woolens in under your bed a few drawer inserts um, makeup uh, organizers things like that and I'll be adding more products to my store too so um, that's at domesplicity.com uh, backslash shop and you'll uh, see the organizing um, category there so if you need anything um, to help you out um, they're all in there so in the meantime um, happy organizing happy living um, keep at it don't give up and I hope that you've enjoyed um, these last two weeks about organizing Please ask any questions if you've got any questions whatsoever about how do I organize this area? What can I do to, you know, declutter this? Please just ask because I'm only too happy to help. And um, I hope that uh, you've enjoyed the presentation today and I hope to see you again soon. Hope you have a fantastic day. Bye for now. Bye, Barb.